Welcome to today's headlines. People were crying at the inauguration when it dawned on them that Chief Willie Obiano was leaving office. Yul Edoche Press Release People were crying at the inauguration when it dawned on them that Chief Willie Obiano was leaving office. Yul Edoche Press Release To my dear listeners, why is people crying at the inauguration? Please stay tuned and let us know what is going on. People were crying at the inauguration when it dawned on them that Chief Willie Obiano was leaving office. The moment he came down from his car, many people started crying, hailing him and saying good things about him and how they would miss him in office. Such things only happen when good men are leaving office and I can boldly tell you that Chief Willie Obiano is a good man. Sadly, the negative event that occurred on the inauguration day have overshadowed other remarkable things that happened on the same day. Of course, bad news always flies faster than good news. When I was SSE, I spent a lot of close moments with him. Akpokwe Dike is a good man who did his best for Anambra. A youth-friendly governor who gave lots and lots of opportunities to the youth. A jolly good man who welcomed all. Always jovial and welcoming and ready to do all he can to build Anambra. A man who had a gentlemanly agreement with the new governor, Prof. Charles Soludo, in 2017, and even after five years, and he still kept his word. Unfortunately in life, many people who are not close to you will always have bad things to say about you. What I witnessed on the inauguration day was exactly the same feeling that occurred all across Nigeria where we lost President Umaru Musa Yaradwa. Tears. We all felt the exit of a good man, Akwokwe DK, as we call him. I wish you the very best, sir, as you move on to more greatness. May God be with you always. People were crying at the inauguration when it dawned on them that Chief Willie Obiano was leaving office. The moment he came down from his car, many people started crying, hailing him and saying good things about him and how they would miss him in office. Such things only happen when good men are leaving office and I can only tell you that Chief Willie Obiano is a good man. Sadly, the negative events that occurred on the inauguration day have overshadowed other remarkable things that happened on the same day. Of course, bad news always flies faster than good news. While I was SSA, I spent a lot of close moments with him. Akwokwe DK is a good man who did his who did his best for Anambra. 
a youth friendly governor who gave lot and lot of opportunities to the youth a jolly good man who welcomed all always jovial and welcoming and ready to do all he can to build a number a man who had a gentlemanly agreement with the new governor prof charles oludo in 2017 and even after 5 years he still kept his word unfortunately in life many people who are not close to you will always have bad things to say about you what i witnessed on the inauguration day was exactly same feeling that occurred all across nigeria when we lost president omar musa yaradua tears we all felt the exit of a good man apoko edike as we call him i wish you the very best sir as you move on to more greatness may god be with you always to my dear listeners now we've come to the end of our today's news please let's move down to the comment section and let's see what people are saying the first comment which i have say is please what i can see is obiano is 42 billion naira stolen on the seat please where is anyone that will prove me wrong a comment to you yes is i know time will tell it may not have been the best cause many youth are still in the labor market but he made sure he not only pays the civil servant but on time to which gave him the name alat governor i believe that time will tell though the wife messed the day all another comment here says guy parkwell na good man they spend on a morning yafu yafu well this is super story we go tell you have to see your story still at the comment section well this one says the wife made that day a black day for him quite unfortunate don't know how he felt a very last comment here says so many people were crying because their milk ticket is gone not because of the good and great things he did for the benefit of a number of people a lot of money is saved for the future of a number of people like peter obi and some of them were crying because every day party in government house and weekend party at aguleri will never happen again to my dear listeners now we've come to the end of our today's news please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about thank you for listening